Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Um, today is a, another video in my uh, sort of hoarder series. If you're new to my channel, um, I have a couple other videos where I'm talking about um, collecting and what is too much and what is hoarding and how do we um, still have fun with being able to try new products and play around without getting out of control. And so today's video I am talking about my lotion routine. Um, this is just the routine that I use that allows me to try new things and have some fun with it but to still use up everything that I buy and not um, be wasting or hoarding or having products go bad before I can get to them. So today I'm going to talk about lotions and um, kind of how I, how I keep myself in control. I do follow, uh, or I am currently following my Lazy Day Fancy Day routine with my lotions. Um, remember that just because I use something on my Lazy Day doesn't mean that I don't like it. It just means that it's the product that I've had the longest. And so it is the one that I, I need to kind of focus more on and have it be this, the center of attention in, in working on trying to use it up. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean uh, I don't like it. It just is the one that I've had the longest. Um, and I don't always have a fancy day, lazy day routine. The only time that I have that is if I, I'm using a lotion and I decided that I wanted to try something, try something out. So here's what I'm doing. You guys saw a long time ago, if you've been following me for forever, you saw that um, I replaced my uh, Avon Moisture Therapy Lotion, which is my all-time favorite lotion. And I wanted to try the Aveeno Active Naturals Stress Relief Moisturizing Lotion. So you guys saw me when I bought this, and you saw me do a review on this. Well, you know, I still have some left, so I'm still using it up. So this is my oldest product, so this is my Lazy Day product. Um, my Lazy Day Fancy Day routine with lotion is just basically an every other day situation. Um, the lazy days when I'm wearing my lazy day makeup routine is when I use my older lotion and my fancy day um, makeup days, which are every other day, are the days when I use my experimental lotion. And so you saw recently that I did a haul and that I purchased the Amari Mystique um, body lotion. Amari Mystique is a, a new perfume that Avon has out and um, I wanted to try the lotion. I do like this very much. I need to do a review on it. Um, so this is my fancy day lotion because it's the new one. It's the one I wanted to play with. So this is the one I kind of play around with and I wear this on the days when I do have my fancy day makeup routine which happens to be every other day. So today is a lazy day for me so today I used this one tomorrow is my fancy day so tomorrow I'll use this one and I just basically go back and forth now the only thing that is different for me is if you guys remember I think I told you that I always take two showers a day and um, so I, I do take an evening shower now in order to save time in the mornings you know because um, I don't want to have to get up at you know four o'clock in the morning and spend hours and hours getting ready especially you know, a lot of us work and we have to get up early. So, um, because I take two showers a day, I'm able to take some shortcuts in the morning and then I kind of pamper myself in, in my evening shower. So in my morning shower, I, it's strictly business for the most part. It's, you know, it's about washing and conditioning my hair and cleaning my body, you know, with soap and getting clean and that's about it. In the evenings, that's when I will, um, shave and it's when I will use shower gel and exfoliate with a loofah and more of the fun things. Okay, so um, in the morning, because I just use the soap and I don't really use, I mean soaps are scented, but soaps aren't designed to have the smell really stick with you for hours and hours and hours. So it's okay if I use a scented lotion afterwards, you know, the smells aren't really going to mix. Um, in the evening though, because that's when I like to exfoliate and, and take a little more time for myself, 
a lot of times, um, well, every night I will use uh, a shower gel and a loofah and exfoliate. Um, I still use soap, like I still wash the important parts while I'm in there, may as well, right? But um, I don't wash my hair in the evenings. Uh, it's, it's more about kind of pampering and just kind of washing off the day and getting myself mentally ready to kind of relax and wind down and go to bed. But um, I use my shower gels in the evening because that's when I like to exfoliate and it's also um, how I like to kind of scent myself before I go to bed. Um, you don't really want to spray yourself with perfume most of the time, especially if you if you are in a relationship and there's someone else who has to share the bed and the bed linens and a small space with you. Um, you know, you don't necessarily want overpowering smells right at that time. Sometimes, uh, you know, a lot of times they tell you, oh, spray your sheets with lavender and that kind of thing. That, to me, I can't stand that. I don't like when somebody sprays um, my... Um, pillowcases with a scent it's just too strong and I it's distracting and I can't sleep it's it's unpleasant for me as much as I love things that smell good that's just something I don't you know I don't enjoy it's too much um, I don't like it right right up there in my face and a lot of times with perfumes I don't spray them down on my neck a lot of times I spray them in my hair for the same reason if it's right up in my face all the time it's just I don't enjoy it it's too much so, you know, you don't want to be offending whoever might be sharing the space with you. So, I don't tend to use perfume in the evening, but I do like to smell nice. So, that's the time when I will use my um, shower gel routine. And, um, you know, I might use a matching shower gel with a matching lotion sometimes. But in a lot of cases, I just have kind of a random shower gel. And um, I don't have lotions or body sprays or anything that go with it. And um, because the shower gels, in a lot of cases, are intended for the scent to last a little bit longer than soap, uh, maybe not all day like a, a perfume or even a lotion can sometimes, um, but for quite a bit of time, I don't want to follow up that shower with another scented, you know, lotion and have those two scents mix and, quite frankly, um, smell like a giant fart. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes scents can mix together and they smell good, and sometimes they just do not go together. So the way that I avoid that is in the evening, rather than doing lotion um, on my legs, especially because I shave in the evening, I always make sure that I moisturize after I shave, um, you know, for sure. But I always put lotion on in the mornings too. But anyway, in the evening, in order to keep the scents from mingling, because I do like to use the shower gels, and I do still want to moisturize, um, sorry, the recycling guys are here and look like they were about ready to pull into my driveway. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, um, I do still moisturize and I'll just use Johnson's baby oil or some type of, you know, you can get mineral oils. It doesn't have to be Johnson's, but I'll use this in the evening. Um, there, you know, it, it has a baby oil sort of smell to it, but I found that that doesn't affect, I've never had a situation where that has affected the scent of my you know, shower gel, and um, it also is really good for my skin um, after after I shave. It you know you just you don't want to grease yourself up like a grease pig, but <laughs> you know put on just enough and it absorbs really nicely nicely and it makes your skin really really soft. So if you do have you know a Valentine or somebody that you do share your space with in the evenings, your skin is nice and soft and fresh freshly um, shaved for them and, um, you know, nicely moisturized and they just feel really soft. So, uh, and you'll find in the morning, you know, you, you, it just feels really nice. So, this is what I use in the evening pretty much all the time because basically every shower gel that I would use has uh, a scent to it. And then I use the Fancy Day Lazy Day um, trade-off thing in the morning. So, this is my main, this is my main one, it's the one I've had the longest, it's the one I'm focused on using at first, but, um, and had I not bought this one recently, I would just be using this one every day, but since I did buy this one recently, I can't just chuck this one aside, even though I don't, if you watch my review, I don't really care for it that much, but I can't just chuck it aside, I still need to use it, and I need to use it up, which means I need to use it at least every other day, and then on my fancy days, if I want to use this, I can. I should still be using this one too. I don't want to just buy this and then 
set it aside and never use it. So I do use it every fancy day. I don't have to, but I do. So anyway, that's the routine that I've been doing for now. Um, this one's the one I'm focusing on and this one is the one I'm using for fun. And this is the one I use at night so that it doesn't mix with my um, shower gel smells. Okay, so if you have any questions about that, let me know. Or um, if you guys are having trouble kind of figuring out how, you know, if you've maybe already got a stash and you're not quite sure how to start, you know, if you want to do a lazy day, fancy day sort of routine, or if you're just trying to figure out, okay, now I've, I've already got all this stuff, so how am I going to use it up? And you want a little help or you want a little advice, you know, send me a message. You can either comment below or you can send me a direct message, you know. Um, tell me tell me a little bit about what you've got. Um, I might ask you some questions, you know, especially if there are things that are scented. I might ask you some questions like, you know, do you use perfume? Are you using scented shower gels? Do you shower in the morning or the evening? That kind of thing. But I'm more than happy to help you kind of sort it out and come up with a routine that will work for you to kind of get rid of the, um, the mass quantities that you have but still use it and not waste it. Um, I'm not trying to encourage people to do the blog sales and all that kind of stuff because to me what I'm noticing that people are doing is they're doing a blog sale and they're get rid of, getting rid of all the stuff that they know they're not going to use or that they could never possibly use up or that they bought and they didn't like or, or whatever and then they're giving them because they got rid of all of it they're giving themselves an excuse to go buy a whole bunch more. And they're just, you're just wasting money. You're not, you're not going to, you know, when you're selling this stuff off at one or two dollars, you're losing a ton of money. You know, you're not, there's no value in it. And then they're just going back out and they're buying tons more. And then all of a sudden you see they're doing another blog sale because they've done it to themselves again. So I'm not encouraging anybody, you know, to sell it off. I mean, the only time I would tell somebody to sell that stuff off is if you really, if it's really out of control and you've got yourself into a financial um, strap and ju just making, you know, 20 or $30 is going to help you, you know, financially. I might tell somebody, if we're talking about finances, to sell as much of it as they can and get as much money for it as they can and take all of that money and lump it into a payment for, you know, to pay down their credit card or something. Um, but that's a whole other situation and that's a whole other problem. I'm happy to help people with those problems too, but you know, I'm kind of more focused on um, just people who have gotten a little bit out of control, but it's still early enough that we can get it um, taken care of. But don't, don't do the blog sales and just use it as an excuse to kind of free yourself up to buy more stuff. And once you've cleared all that stuff out and then you're looking around and you're going, oh gosh, well, I don't I don't have anything left over to kind of play around with or, you know, I don't have enough eyeshadows now to kind of experiment with different colors and different looks anymore. So now I'm going to go do it all over again and buy some more. Don't get yourself in that habit. If you've already got a stash and you're just not sure how to, where to start in as far as tackling it um, to use it responsibly, then please send me a message. I am happy to help you sort that out. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions and um, keep watching. I'm still breaking it down every single thing that I that I use I've still got to tell you about my makeup I'm still going to tell you about my shower gels um, I still have to tell you about my uh, my styling products for my hair so there's still some more coming up and then again at the very end I'm going to talk to people specifically in the business that are makeup artists that work in retail um, you know behind a beauty counter or that work in the business or that do direct sales like I do um, I'm going to talk to you guys last because that adds more complications to the situation. Okay, have a good week, guys. Bye.